Hey you, how's it going? Andy here. Welcome back to VR Man Cave. The fact that the Quest 2 is capable of room scale VR in such a small and relatively affordable package is simply incredible. But sometimes you just want to enjoy VR in a more relaxed position. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at the Quest 2 games that you can play while sitting down. So let's go. It's awesome to be able to walk around in VR using your actual legs, but whether you're just tired or have any issues with your back or even if you have a disability, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy VR on your Quest 2 just as much. So that's why I wanted to make this video that has been requested in the comments quite a few times, because VR should be the type of experience that makes you feel free, regardless of what you can or cannot do in real life. So I won't keep you waiting, let's have a look at which Quest and Quest 2 games can be played while seated. Phantom Covert Ops While most first-person shooters are fast-paced, run-and-gun types of experiences, this one was designed as a seated experience since the whole game is played from a tactical kayak and has been designed around this unique method of locomotion, which makes it very special overall since the point is to be stealthy and take out enemies without being detected. The great thing is that the developer has weaved this into the story, as you are infiltrating a Russian base that has been flooded, so paddling around in a kayak full of awesome weapons and gadgets while navigating through the environment and distracting or taking out enemies to slip past them undetected. Dash Dash World I've mentioned this one in other videos too, but it absolutely deserves to be on this list too. This wacky Mario Kart lookalike has a lot of different tracks, weapons and power-ups, and was specifically designed to be played seated, since your character is literally sitting down while racing through the multitude of environments while trying to get and stay in first place, and whack anyone who tries to take victory away from them. In case it wasn't immediately obvious, this title is a multiplayer one, so you can race your friends or others online to become the ultimate champion. For those potentially prone to motion sickness, the game also has a number of comfort options for reducing any nausea or nasty feelings. So it's a fantastic seated experience and generally a very well made and super fun game. Ultra Wings this title has a very good balance between the arcade and flight simulation genres that makes it super fun for both beginners and experienced flight sim enthusiasts. And since the whole game is based around flying different types of aircraft, playing it seated is absolutely ideal. With lots of missions to do and stunts to perform, you'll progress through the levels and unlock more and more goodies. While the cartoonish look of Ultra Wings may put some of you off, you should know that a lot of the reviews on the Oculus Store are from die-hard flight simulator fans and they all say that this game is a ton of fun with physics accurate controls and flying, just with an arcade twist to the missions, so if you're looking forward to taking to the skies from the comfort of your chair or couch and without requiring a PC, then this one is a very good option. Real VR Fishing Let's move on to a more relaxing experience with this incredible looking VR fishing title. You'll be able to cast your line in a variety of breathtaking photorealistic locations and catch a vast array of fish that you'll then showcase in the aquarium from your awesome virtual fishing cabin. The physics match the level of realism that the environments have, so whether fishing is one of your hobbies or not, you won't be disappointed by this one. And the even more amazing thing is that you can get together with a friend because the game features multiplayer. So what better way to meet up with your best bud and just chill out by the water with your fishing rod in one hand and a cold one in the other. Moss as a story-driven experience that plays absolutely beautifully while sitting down, this one should make your favorites list pretty much instantly, because the storytelling aspect is absolutely superb. The game offers a great balance of puzzles and light combat scenes, where you'll be helping out the tiny heroine named Quill to save her uncle. You'll be transported into the rodent-sized diorama world as the reader a powerful force that cannot be seen but helps the residents of Moss, and specifically Quill, to navigate her environment and overcome obstacles. 
The visual and sound design in Moss are among the best ones out there and the way the 3D audio and the on-screen animation sync up is just a magical experience. You won't be able to stop yourself from falling in love with the game world and the characters. Everything about this game is delightful and you should surely keep it in mind as a top seated experience. So get comfortable and start unfolding the story of this masterpiece. I expect you to die. Being a spy is always something I've dreamed of as a kid and even up to my teenage years and just between us, I was actually extremely close to achieving that dream. True story. Anyway, back to the game, as you probably figured out by now, you'll take on the role of a spy in this game that is brilliantly designed and written as a sort of puzzle slash escape room experience with an interesting twist which is, as the title suggests, that dying is part of the game because you learn things every time you die and be all the wiser next time you give it a go, as you get a better idea of which objects to interact with and how. It's quirky, fun and challenging and a very good seated experience. So I could not miss including it in this list. Just a quick word before we move on to the next title on this list. I'm a small channel and I make these videos out of passion and I've invested quite a bit in equipment to make the videos look and sound as nice as possible. So if you wish to support the channel, please consider subscribing for more awesome content and also consider joining my newly released Discord server to meet other awesome VR lovers just like yourself. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to some more games that you can play sitting down without missing out on anything they have have to offer. Tetris Effect Before you think to yourself, wow, really Andy, Tetris in this day and age? Let me explain why I've included it in this video. It's a highly regarded title that has won over 50 awards and it's developed by the same studio that made the extremely praised Res Infinite. Yes, it's a Tetris game at its core, but it's the most relaxing and visually impressive version of it you've ever tried. From the music synced to the Tetris blocks to the over 30 stunning backgrounds that react to your moves, it's one of those games that completely takes your mind off your worries and cares and puts you in a very zen state of mind. Trover Saves the Universe Rick and Morty is probably my favorite animated series ever. But whether you've ever watched it or not, if you enjoy adult-oriented and at times dark humor, satire and just overall quirkiness and casual use of the f-word, then you'll really enjoy this one because it was made by one of the co-creators of that TV show and it features the same types of characters, voices and just disturbingly creative screenwriting. The game is a platformer designed to be played entirely seated and will not feature you freely roaming around environments and physically grabbing objects, as the whole premise is that your character uses a controller to play the entire game by moving Trover through the environments, solving puzzles and fighting foes. You need to be ready for some stand-up level of belly-hurting laughing, because this is for sure the funniest game you'll see in the entire Oculus Store. Poker Stars VR whether you're a serious poker player or just want to hang out and play a few casual games with your friends, this one is a must-have in your library, especially since it's completely free and of course, since you're sitting at a virtual poker table, it's designed to have you sitting down in real life too. It has managed to combine live and online poker in an experience that immerses you in the game so much that it's definitely the next best thing to playing in person. Maybe even better since you can play with people from all around the world, all at the same table. The poker chips and cards have realistic physics and you'll also have a huge array of interactive toys and accessories to keep your hands busy while the other players decide if they want to call your bluff or not. The Room VR the Room series is a long-standing puzzle-solving escape room-like game that has been available on phones and tablets for quite a while, which was already a ton of fun as a flat game but bringing it into VR and actually being able to physically look around and use your hands to solve the increasingly complicated puzzles is just mind-blowing. It plays extremely well as a seated experience as you'll have to find clues around the environment and use them to solve puzzles that get you closer and closer to completing your goal. This series has always looked fantastic even on smartphones and its newest VR edition is no exception. Everything is very detailed and the puzzles themselves are clever as hell and if you enjoy a challenge and are a fan of atmospheric games, you'll love this one. 
Population 1. This one surprised me while doing my research and testing various games for this video, because it's one of my favorite titles and I had no idea it can be played seated. It automatically detects your height when starting up the game and feels very natural while sitting down. I'll definitely be playing it like this a lot more moving forward since it's much more comfortable, especially on a swivel chair that allows you to quickly turn as needed. As pretty much the staple of Battle Royale games on the Quest platform, the mechanics are just as fun as they look in the trailer and shooting, climbing and flying are very well implemented core mechanics of the game. It has quickly become a must-have title for the Quest 2 in my humble opinion, and I've had some super fun sessions in this game with the guys on my Discord server, which if you haven't joined already, definitely do. A quick tip if you want to see if a certain game supports a seated experience before buying it is to look under supported player modes on the games page on the Oculus Store. I've tested all of the games on this list myself and they work brilliantly while sitting down. So that's why I consider them to be the best in this category but if you think I've missed any great ones please leave a comment down below to help other viewers make an informed decision when looking for this type of game. If you still have time to hang out and want to watch some more content I have a suggestion for for you here and another one here. So feel free to decide for yourself which one you want to watch next. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Stay safe and enjoy VR. Cheers!